everyone. It's Saturday, February the 17th, 2024. I am Doug. It's time once again to play some Wordle. Uh, we've got a communique from user dash JY4JK9GKAN. I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask for a copy of your birth certificate. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to call you a user. How's that? Well, user says, try sound. Uh, don't mind if I do. That is an excellent starting word. So let's go ahead and try sound here. Uh, sound gets us an S out of position. All right. Good start. Good start. Uh, let's see here. We have A, I, and E. You got a lot of quality letters here. Uh, let's do a full eval. Um, how about the word chair? Let's go with that. A full eval. See what we get. Uh, what does chair give us? Chair. Oh, not bad. Gives us an A in position. So a little bit more uh, movement here. Uh, of course, we still have the S out of position. Uh, we have, I like E and T here. Uh, feel nice. Uh, how about, how about this? Let's try least. Uh, it'll get us the S intel and then L, E, and T. It could be the answer. Uh, we've had a lot of crazy luck this week, but I feel like this will accomplish something. Uh, so let's see. Is the answer to today's puzzle the word least? No, it's not. But look at that. An L has joined the party. And we've got another place. The S is not. Uh, okay. So I wonder. The S is probably not at the end. More likely than not. So if that's the case, I wonder if we have uh, maybe S-A-L uh, in the middle here. Does that make any sense? Does that make any sense? Mm, kind of having a hard time with that. I don't feel like that's a great play. Um, hmm. That S is going to be challenging here. Okay. Now, if I put the L in the second spot, um, uh, and I guess, you know, just for the heck of it, putting the S at the end, but it can't be a plural, right? Um, hmm. Yeah, see, there's a lot of lot of plural words we can come up with here, and that's the, that's the thing. Um I have a very hard time feeling like that S makes any sense there. That's where I'm kind of a little bit stuck, right? I'm definitely a little stuck on that. Uh, the S conundrum here and this little like uh, chess match of Wordle that we have. Um, let's see. Uh, could we try... Uh, could we try... Uh, again, put that L here. Let's, let's take the... Hmm. Well, all right. So we're going to do something that's an eval here. I just have to figure out what the heck is going on with that S, right? Um, so let's say if we did, um, let's see, what would make sense with the S here? Uh, we could do... Uh, we could do flags. And this is strictly going to be an eval because plurals aren't allowed, but let's get a little intel on this uh, with flags. And look at that. So we know here the S is definitely in the second spot. And we're running low on guesses, by the way. That's not good. Uh, okay, so we know the S is here. So we have S and A. Uh, and so we either have the L in the fourth or the fifth spot. I feel like it's got to be... Since we don't have any other vowels, it's got to be in the fourth spot. So what am I missing here? Um, hmm. What makes... I guess I'm trying to figure out what that last letter can be. That's where I'm stuck. Um... Where would that last letter go? Um, S A L. Uh, S A L L. But what would fit in the front? Nothing would fit in the front. Oh. Oh, I got it. I've got it. 
It's definitely a musical theme. Oh, boy. Okay. It's Psalm. P-S-A-L-M. That has to be it. Oh, boy. That's a tough word. Uh, assuming I'm correct, that's going to break a lot of streaks. I got to tell you, that's a tough one to come up with. Ooh, boy. Well, if you're watching this because you, uh, you discovered me, it, we, we get a lot of new traffic when we have a really tough word. Uh, so, hi, I'm Doug. I play Wordle and Connections on different uh, uh, videos on this channel. Uh, I'm a nice guy, and I like walks on the beach. Hope you'll join me. Well, not for the walks on the beach, but for the word games. Anyhow, uh, is the answer to today's puzzle the word psalm? Yes, it is. There we go. Sing it. Ah, uh, wow. <laughs> so there you go. Another case, though, where the starting word actually ended up having some sort of uh, connection, no pun intended, to the answer. Uh, very cool. Whew. Well, uh, tomorrow is Sunday, and we're going to start with the word teach. Uh, it's been a fantastic week of Wordle so far. Lots of highs and lows and adventures. Uh, and another week begins tomorrow, and I hope you'll join me for some more Wordle.